Eh, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, canal. Ánimo. All right, man, let's talk about the um, situation with Devin Haney and um, George Camboso, excuse me. So apparently they were going back and forth on Twitter the other day about who wants to fight, who don't want to fight, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? And it's from well, Bob Brown is saying it's not a rumor. He says that he's now optimistic that um, that Lomachenko can uh, – can all get the Camboso fight? And I heard that Camboso didn't want to fight Lomachenko, but he uh he um but you know it seemed like he you know maybe they upped the offer, but he don't have no choice. You said you wanted to bring a big fight to Australia. Now it seemed like Camboso don't kind of want to fight in the Middle East because Eddie had to offer in the Middle East. Now I said before, man. You know, them WBC, them, that WBC, you know, fake undisputed is a curse. These dudes walk around, they get it, you know, they get the belt and they start acting like they invincible or they on the Limitless pill. You know, you've never seen the movie Limitless, but uh, Bradley Cooper's a really good movie, one of my favorites to watch. Um, but you got the Boston's playlist now. Chris Minix, uh so Devin Haney said, okay, Bo, so we making this fight happen or what? I'm agreeing to all your terms, whether it's the vaccine or the travel. It's starting to look like some ducking going on Eddie Hearn. He said Haney told SI now that he's received one shot of his two dose of COVID regimen uh, and intends to uh, get the second requirement for fighting in Australia. Now, my thing is, uh, obviously, we've seen if you follow tennis, we follow current world news with, uh, with Novak Djokovic, one of the best tennis players to ever do it. You know, he got deported. I think I keep thought I won't say deported. He got kicked out the country for not, you know, for losing his appeal, for not getting the jab. But, um, you know, but I hate when they drag the social media, bro. You know, the person that drag the social media, man, I think that's the person that, you know, really look bad in the public eye. You know, now if the fight don't happen, you announce something else, somebody asks you what happened, then I get up on there and start talking junk. But, you know, he got the right to fight who he want to fight. You know, WBC, you paying sanctioning fees, they ain't doing you no favors. Haney, they ain't ordering you to fight Camboso, you know, for a real champion. They saying you the fake champion, you the real champ, fake champion. Then they say y'all both champions and all that, bro. When you take it to social media, it's never a good look, bro. You know what I'm saying? Never a good look. So apparently Camboso said a few things. He says that uh, he says, I love how you manipulate, lie to your fans. Pinocchio knows. Talk a big game, but Show no action a bit like your fights. I'm patiently waiting with all my bills for the offer from your boss, Mr. Eddie Hearn, because I got a stadium ready in Australia, but I can see the excuses already at the real Devin Haney. So that's what he said. So uh, he said, or you can just be building up the fight. So you want our side to put the money up in your backyard. Okay, no problem. See you soon and keep those bills safe because they'll be leaving Australia soon. Yeah, that to me, you know, that's that you know, I sound like some crap. You know, while we put the money up in enemy territory, okay, Boso got the money. Now's the time to uh to put the money up. You know, they shouldn't be spending a dime. We on your side of the street, we on your side of the country. Um, you put the money up. Come on, man. Who we look like? Uh Peter McAllister from, from uh, Home Alone when he was paying for his family and his brother family to go to France on vacation. <laughs> go to Florida on vacation. The second one. Who who he, who he look like? Peter McAllister, man. Pay, put your, your own people put the money up. You know, but Devin needs this fight. To be honest. So he, he know Devin needs this fight. He can say, well, he can tell his fans, well, I tried to uh I tried to make these fights. I'm gonna go ahead and fight uh, you know. Somebody else a lesser, you know, content. But, you know, nobody care about them damn, that lightweight division because ultimately ain't none of them dudes fighting each other. All these dudes is young and getting it, and they posturing. You know, they posturing, man, but let's continue to go on. Going up on a Tuesday. Got your girl in the clip if she choosing. Boy, that man came out too soon. He was out now, man, with his sexuality preference, bro. <laughs> oh man, that motherfucker be a bit now. 
He said, uh, I'm now here on Twitter uh, for Twitter fights. Like most of these cats, I'm here for the real for the real fights. To be honest, I got to give respect to myself, T.O. Lomachenko. Out of the one emperor, four kings, and the matrix, we we three stepped stepped it up and fought. While the other fought on Twitter, just fa stating facts. Now, tell me who duck, who's ducks. So, oh, you know what thing about about that statement, bro? Um, people already know the the pilot, the political lines. You know, when some fighters, you know, people say, well, you know, Nick Crawford ain't fought nobody, and he need to do this, that, and the third. Well, we know why he ain't fought nobody at 47. Now we know why people say he ain't fought nobody overall. For one, they misinformed. You know, in boxing, fighting a name don't mean you fought nobody. A name is to be built up. A name is a name. Somebody out there that's didn't have a back in or name might give you a tougher fight or might even be a name is a name. We know for a fact Lomachenko lost twice. He lost to Salido and he lost to Tiafima Lopez and don't, didn't throw no punches. We know you beat Tiafima Lopez, but I never really thought much of Tiafima Lopez. Any dude who throw a punch and jump off his feet, you know what I'm saying? Ryan Garcia don't want to fight Devin Haney on the wrong side of the street. He went, he went to the promoter where they blacklisted Eddie Hearn. That's one thing they can't agree on. And now Bob worked with him when, and it's Bob benefit, you know, when he's saying, you know, Jose Ramirez would be strong Ramirez Hooker, but you know, at the same time, you know, if it's for Lomachenko or something for the length, same time, you know, he really be abusing Eddie Hearn. But um, you know, but now he's the emperor and stuff like bruh. These motherfuckers win one fight, and, they, and, they, and they, you know, he said, That's right, bro. Loma's out. He said, Man, these dudes win one fight, and these motherfuckers, man, come on, man. Come on, man. They win one fight and they go off the rockers, man. Nigga, you want one fight, one even like you made, you no know, made with the purse that he made versus like uh Oscar De La Hoya. You know, this dude and this nigga acting like he he made a billion dollars. He made 10, 20, 30 million dollars versus this dude. Bruh, you know, if, if people had to put their place a bet. If you fall, if you fight again, most people think you're gonna lose them belts on the very next fight. Then where you gonna be at? Humbling yourself, humble yourself. Like you told Tio, how you gonna tell a nigga humble yourself and then you turn into to him? He said, "I seen Camboso when he was at Pacquiao's camp. Yes, he works hard, determined. You can work all hard you want to, but he don't have the talent. He had beat Tio. We see he might have the talent." He might have the talent. Who knows? He definitely got hurt. Definitely got determination. You know, definitely looked like he worked hard for his last fight. But, you know, I agree. No Twitter fights. Don't go out of Twitter. You start negotiating social media, it's not a good look. Turn up and down. If you don't want the fight, you don't want the fight. Make a plan B. You know? Let him fight in, in um... Let them fight in Omaha. Let them fight in, excuse me, Australia. You know, if you want to take the belts to Australia, let Lomachenko go grab the belts. You know, let Tank go beat his ass home. Or he got to come back stateside. What's so funny is he's telling people they need to, uh, he telling people they need to, uh, come over there. But you ain't got the money. Now, Eddie Hearn got to put the money up for you. Well, what does that matter? But, um, Eddie Hearn got to put the money up for you. So if your side ain't got the money, bro, like, can you really talk? Just take a tune up and come back when we come back state side. Simple as that. But um, you know, we'll see what happens. This could be just to build a fight. They probably should already got a deal, or they might gonna be coming to a deal soon. But it is what it is, man. This is what boxing come through in 2022. You know, so 
You know, really you got to look at it as Deb. You at his mercy. He know you need him. But really, he think you the most beatable one out of him. Because he already beat T.O. So, you know, you got to prove him wrong. got to prove him wrong. But here's what it is. I'm going to go into the Lomachenko video. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, Christian notifications, best way to help us. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Here, business question, inquiry, response, your video request. Um, hit me up, Twitter's the fast way to Instagram and Facebook. Want to make a financial donation? Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Everything I spoke on is description. Appreciate the love, support. Check the box in this playlist out. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. But damn, you want me to put all the money up? And then come over to your country. But if you ain't got the money, then you got to boss up and come to the state side. But, hey, it is what it is. And the says peace.